I like because it reminds me of the good old days of record stores. It's the tangible physical aspect of a CD or record that John Campbell loves. That's why he was happy to hear this chain of record stores is expanding. But I like coming to a place, uh, usually a smaller place, uh, wherein I can buy my music uh, straight from a human being as opposed to ordering it online. Sunrise Records has 10 stores right now and is taking over the leases of 70 HMV locations that are closing. HMV Canada went into receivership last month. According to court documents, it was losing $100,000 a day as customers increasingly turn to digital media. We believe there's a big hole in, in Canadian culture without having um, a big player in, in physical music. Um, so the timing was right and it made sense for us to, to try and grow and expand and, uh, and hire these people and get the business going again. The new stores won't just sell music but also merchandise like clothes and board games. But if you're wondering what they are going to do different than HMV, it's a highlight on retro culture. I think the biggest difference is going to be you're going to see vinyl front of store, highly featured, lots of record players. In Canada, vinyl sales grew by nearly 58% in just one year. But it's a niche market, making up only 5% of all physical music sales, which is still dominated by CDs. CD sales are down 15%. Sonic Boom in Toronto is a record shop that's capitalized on the resurgence of the LP. It welcomes the competition. But I think there's lots of small towns in, throughout the country that like, might not have a music retailer that you know, need one, and they could be really successful in that if they can pull it off right, you know? Industry watchers say the move by Sunrise will create more space for Canadian artists to sell records and merchandise but warns this is a big investment and technology is constantly changing. There's always a long-term risk because you never know what the trends are going to be. You never know what format is going to hit. And that's what makes this move all that more risky, making a big investment in a business that some at least wrote off years ago. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Toronto.